Premiere Pro when it's not crashing every two seconds is actually a beast of an editor. I personally have been using this editor for like seven years and I'm still learning new things about it. It's crazy. That's why today I would like to share with you some Premiere Pro editing secrets that I wish I knew back then when I was a beginner. Alright, so let's just hop right in, right? This side toolbar right here, it's clutch. I wish I knew about it when I was a beginner in Premiere Pro. Clicking and dragging most of these icons will reveal another menu you can use with more options. So with that said, this is the ripple edit button. If you click and drag the edges of your clip, it'll automatically let you ripple delete or ripple add areas. Next is the rate stretch tool. This tool is cool because you can actually speed up and slow down clips of having to go into the speed slash duration menu. I like to just use the keyboard shortcut R to make it faster. The rolling edit tool lets you shift the boundaries of your clips. This tool is perfect if you're doing a lot of J cuts or L cuts. The keyboard shortcut for this is N. The slip tool lets you micro adjust your clips as if you're moving the in and out points. This is clutch if you put in a clip and you realize, oh, this is just slightly off. I don't feel like moving the entire timeline over to fix it. Now you can just whoop and it's easy. The slide tool is almost like a combination of the ripple edit tool and the rolling edit tool. Click and drag your clip and you notice that it moves your clip into the other one while also extending the one you're moving it from. You might know about the track select forward tool, which is A, which lets you select everything and on, but you also can do shift A to do the track select backwards tool to select everything and back. And also a fun tip, if you hold shift while doing this, you can select one track at a time. Pressing J or L lets you speed up your playhead, which lets you view your timeline a lot faster. This also works in the source monitor. If you go up here and click on where it says show workspace tabs and pull this out, now you can see all your workspaces and go through each one a lot more smoother. You can click and drag any of these panels and move them wherever you want in Premiere Pro. If you have two monitors, you can move on to the other monitor. That way you can have immediate access to whatever that panel is. And don't worry, you can definitely put it back. For the sake of a faster workflow, instead of having to move your mouse all the way down here to these little balls down here to move to zoom in and out, you actually can just use plus and minus on your keyboard to zoom in and out. You might already know that if you copy and then go to paste attributes, it'll copy over the effects you had on your original clip. But for the sake of a faster workflow, I like to do control C and then control alt V and enter. Hitting Q or W lets you instantly ripple trim delete an area. Q lets you delete the beginning part, W lets you delete the tail end part. If you press M on your keyboard, it'll leave a marker. Press M again and you'll be able to edit it and name it and do all this nice stuff with it. If you click and hold Alt while dragging it, you'll be able to extend it out and now you have a little marker for a little region. If you right click the boundary of two clips, you can immediately apply a default transition. You might already know that, but the cool thing is if you click and hold the transition, you actually can adjust where it starts from. Pretty neat. When you move stuff from Premiere Pro, these little grid lines will pop up. If you don't want it to happen, you can go over here or click S on your keyboard, and now the grid lines don't pop up, it won't jump anymore, and it'll move exactly how you moved it. If you want to adjust your audio really quickly, just right click it and go to audio gain, and you can just change the number right here. The fast way of doing it is pressing the G button. 